with Grizzy, science with Grizzy, science with Grizzy, science with Grizzy. Hi, welcome to Science with Grizzy. Today we're doing me focus, focus powder. That's right. We are doing another experiment from our magic science kit. Alex Brand. And by Alex Brand, you can find this on Amazon. Um, last time we did a magic wand, which we have. Crazy, would you like to tell them where you hid this magic wand? Hid magic wand. Where'd you put it? In the couch. And she stuck it in the couch. So it's magic that we actually have it for this experiment. That's our first step. Okay. <laughs> so our first step says we need to fill both these test tubes with water. So I gave you two separate water. So you can go ahead. Good job. Good job. And now I'm going to cut this open. You got it? This one. Oh my goodness. You smell it? What's it smell so, like? It smells like red cabbage. Smell it. Ew. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to say that we need to put a small scoop, and it's nice about this kit. They gave us the little scoop of red cabbage powder to each test tube. So we're going to do the first one because it says don't stir it. We need to see the magic of it. So here you go, Grace. Put it in one of them. Uh oh, again. Again. Oh, my goodness. Here, I will. I'll help you. We got you. I got it. We're gonna, this is, you know we were gonna be a little messy here, you go. You got it, I got it. You got it, put it in there. Okay. Purple. It's purple, look at the purple come down. This is what they wanted us to show you. The purple's kind of making its way, working the way. Okay, so we're gonna put that there, and now it says we should put the other one with some beet juice powder too. This. Or is it, I keep saying beet, it's not beet, it's red cabbage. So this red cabbage juice powder is an acid base indicator. And we're gonna see it. More purple. It's just purple too. We're gonna see it change color depending if we we'll add an acid or a base. Gracie's telling you, we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, so the directions tell us that you are supposed to take your wand and wave it and could say, Kazam! Kazam! Show it on camera again. Kazam! Okay, now, we know that science, where's science at? Head. Yeah, it's Head. in your brain, not in this magic wand. Brain. It's in your brain, but it's pretty fun to do. Now we're gonna change these colors. We're gonna, we're gonna Let's step change. it up. Okay, Grace. You what? Cut it. I did. I just opened up. Uh, they included, which is kind of nice, a little bag of baking soda. We have baking soda at home. We didn't have to use this, but it's part of the kit, so we're going to use it. And what it says is in one of the tubes, go ahead and add it and see what color Again. it changes it. <gasps> Blue. That's right. It magically changed it to blue. Okay. The other one. Let's see what else we're going to do with the other one. So we're going to put this to the side so we don't get it mixed up. We have purple. And now it's saying we need to add some citric acid to that other one. Hey. To see, I know. I'm taking up this baking soda and putting it in a baggie so we could use it for next time. That's what she's talking about. We don't want baking soda all over our box and then we can't use it for our next experiment. Um, are you ready? Here comes some citric acid. We're going to use the same medium scoop. There you go. And, and, whoa! Pink. What just happened? Pink! It turned pink instantly! 
so that kind of shows you how if we add more acid or more base to something, it's going to change the color because hey. that red cabbage juice powder is kind of like an indicator, which is pretty cool. Um, Before we go back, let's talk about last time, didn't we make a little dinosaur? Hey. That's right, our cousins. We weren't going to say their names. But yes, our cousins had, gave us a little egg in, our, in her goodie bag. And we started the process. And we got a lot of comments that people wanted to see what happened with that. So watch our clips. Tell them to watch our clips. Watch our clips. And tell them we'll be back. We'll be back. Let's watch our clips. So we went to a birthday party. What's and they gave What's us... What's your name? We can't say that. This is on the air. We'll just say it's a, our cousin. And they gave us a dinosaur egg. Should we do it? Is that a real dinosaur egg? Yeah. Is it? No. No, why? Because the dinosaurs had died out millions of years ago. But I wonder what's inside this dinosaur egg. And so what they said is we have to fill a cup with water and put it in there. So fill the cup with water. Good job. And now stick that dinosaur egg in there. It's, it's a little bouncy, huh? What hours? Well, they told us we might have to wait a while, but that's crazy because it's already getting bigger. Bye. Bye. Tell them when we'll see them again. Here's a dinosaur egg update. I got some updates about the dinosaur egg. Look at, we have a dinosaur and it seems to be growing in the water. This is a final update. You got my big dinosaur. That's amazing. We're back on Pumpkin's Teal. That's right. We're going to talk a little bit about the Teal Pumpkin Project. Halloween's coming up, and if you see any trick-or-treaters with a Teal Pumpkin, it means they're on the spectrum. Our and cousins. That's right. People might come. That's right. And what you just need to do is you have to be understanding. If it takes some time, if they don't say thank you, if they say don't trick or treat, some kids might not like candy. Some kids might want too much candy. Just be understanding. You tell them, be kind. Be kind. That's right. And um, tell them what our next segment is that they're going to see next. Science in the Woods. See you October 16th. See you October 16th. Science and what da da da, science and what da da da, science and what da da da, science and what da da da. Hi, welcome to Science and what, this is the onion. That's right, we pulled our garden and yet we have an onion starting to grow.